So that, that was a, an enormous change in, in, the, in the, that first part of the liturgy of, of the word. Um, and the, the other thing, and, and this, this comes through, if you ever read that, that document, uh, um, that um, there, there was a call for uh, participation. Um, a, a lot of times, um, I think in the old days, people used to say, I go to Mass or I hear Mass. Which, which ended up as a very passive, <laughs> uh, you'd, you'd sit there and watch a few things. And I mean, part of the reason we have the bell, I mean, the bell's still there and it's quite nice, but part of the reason with the bell was you didn't know what the priest was at until you had to ring the bell saying, well, we're getting to a serious bit now. And that's what the, the old boy used to do. Um, I suppose it can still help to wake us up if we're, we're nodding off in another direction, but at least we can see what's happening and we, we, we know pretty much where the priest is if we're half awake. Um, so, as I say, the, the, the common uses was we go to Mass or we hear Mass, and, and today I think what, what, what we would want to say is that, that we celebrate Mass in the sense that we we're not just there as a spectator that we're, we're, we're drawn in to what what is happening um, and so what what's um, uh, what as I say what's different well some of these things I've already mentioned so the responses that we we're, we're, we're all asked to, to do the responses it's not just the the altar boy or the altar girl's job to do the responses but we all do the responses um, and singing, singing is mentioned quite explicitly in several places that, that, <coughs> that the the, um, the congregation sing, um, and, and there's a, there's a strong call to uh, uh, that we should be singing. Um, uh, as I say, the language has changed for, for, from always being Latin. Orientation, as in the altar, we, we the, the priest faces the people. The lectionary, as I say, is is um, um, very clearly um, uh, uh, been broadened out and, and enriched, and then I always see the the, 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 the liturgy as as movement. It's an it's an action, and in fact the the the, the French uh, tend to rather than use the word Eucharist, they tend to use the phrase l'action de grâce, like the action of grace, um, and. I remember somebody saying once about the Gospels um, that uh, I don't understand. We don't understand what Jesus is saying until we see what he does. And yet we don't fully understand what he does unless we listen to what he's saying. And there's, it's, it's the interplay between the action and the words. And, and I, I think something of that applies within, within uh, liturgy, within, uh, within the sacraments. Um, I was, was I testing you the other day to see if you remembered the old catechism phrase. Was I? Oh yes, you are. Yeah. 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 Um, and and the, 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 the this this again is something that, that that was very prevalent in the church. A little little booklet which, which we had as uh, kids in the school. It was often it was the penny catechism, wasn't it? But I think by the time I got there, it was fourpence. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. yeah. But the, 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 the phrase for the sacrament was, was an outward sign of inward grace. And it, it's an interplay, therefore, between something that's, that, that is evident to the eyes or ears or senses, um, but it, it's, it's signifying something that's, that's uh, sort of not, 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 uh, uh, not, not evident to the senses, uh, uh, and in a, in a grace and in a meaning of... Um, and I, I was, was, as I was just chatting with, with, with um, Alice there, and I, I was saying, well, I would, in a sense, I, I'd say that's what, what a lot of art is, really, isn't it? It's trying to sort of get, get hold of some idea that's, if you like, behind the picture or, 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 or the inspiration. It's, it's, um, that's the bit you can't put into, into form or, or colour, but, but nonetheless there's something there that, 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 we, that we're striving for. I suppose all, all art in some way is, some, is, 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 is striving to do something like that. Um, and that's, that's sort of what a, a sacrament is about. Uh, as I say, the old phrase was outward sign of inward grace. Uh,
Um, right, so I, I'd like to, I think now this, this part, I want to just um, uh, quote a few phrases from from the, this, this document, uh, Sacrosanctum Concilium, and as I say, that, that was the background that they were writing against, that it was a, was a, was a um, uh, the whole uh, liturgy was in Latin. Um, one of the first times I ever read in, in, uh, in church, um, I, I think I was about 15 or 16, and it was, it was, uh, it was a Palm Sunday and, and uh, Good Friday, and so we had, we had the whole of the Passion in Latin, um, and the, uh, the, the, the canon where I was down in Lewis, he, he suggested that three of us should read it in English. But, um, and so we did, uh, it was myself, my brother and another guy, we, we, we read The Passion in English, we, we managed to get some. And it was, it was a, a booklet that was done so that you could read it with different voices. But technically for the actual celebration, he was reading it behind us quietly in Latin. <laughs> uh, which we really think that today, that seems a bit odd, but that, that was the only way around it in those days, was, was for him to, to do it in Latin quietly. Um, and you know, then within a few years, we we were proclaiming it as as the actual, if you like, proclamation of the gospel um, in in in, our, in in English. Um, so this is this is a first little quote from from the, the document, and it's um it's it's the second paragraph. They're, all the paragraphs are numbered, so they're easy to find if you ever want to look for them. The church is essentially both human and divine, visible but endowed with invisible realities, zealous in action and dedicated to contemplation, present in the world but as a pilgrim, so constituted that in her the human is directed toward and subordinated to the divine, the visible to the invisible, action to contemplation, and this present world to that city yet to come, the object of our quest. Um, and the city yet to come I th would, would be a, a phrase that's often used of, uh, I, I think it comes from the Apocalypse, the, the, the New Jerusalem. Um, uh, as you know, in the Old Testament there was, there was a great, uh, f uh, well, fight, literally a fight to, to get into Jerusalem throughout the Jebusites. And that, that became um, uh, the... the City of David, but then from then on, that that was seen mm -hmm. to be the heart of of um, uh, the the Israelites and their and their faith and their and their their country. And some of that, of course, we know still pertains today and is is part of the the heartache of that part of the world. Um, and I, I believe Jerusalem means the city of peace. Um, uh, not sure that we'll see peace there in our time unfortunately but um, so the new Jerusalem is is, a, is, is the sense of, of when everything comes together and is a, 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 I suppose peace reigns and, and um, the whole world the whole creation is, is in, in some sense in, in um, at peace uh, and content and um, fulfilled um, now the other thing, uh, I think the next thing I wanted to just mention was that um, something that, that came through with this new liturgy, and I think it's it's hinted at there in, in that in a paragraph I read, is is the presences in the in the Eucharist, and they're basically the presence of Christ. Um, and again, I think what 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 was very evident before the change in the liturgy was that it, it, it was the presence of the Eucharist. That's where we encounter Christ in, in the in the Eucharistic species that have been um, consecrated and therefore uh, Jesus the real presence was present in, in the sacrament um, but it was always there and, uh, um, and and in some ways the changes have tried to bring it out that there, there really are four presences 